Hey loves, it's your girl Jay Ish, aka The Rich Auntie, and I am back with yet another video. If you're new here, go ahead and tap that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Hey loves, what it do? I'm back. Welcome back to another video. I'm here today to give you a look. Yes, today's video is all about a soft glam honey, okay? And it's beginner friendly. I'm going to give you a step by step on how I achieve this look. This is my everyday, my go to look. So when I'm going to work, if I'm doing like an everyday type of routine, this is the look I aim for. It's something different about my routine now. So y'all know in the past, I would always do my eyebrows first, then my eyeshadow, then my face. Here lately, I've been doing my foundation first, then my eyebrows, then my eyeshadow. Oh, well, look at Pace. Hey. But anyway, like I was saying, here lately, I've been doing my foundation first, then my eyebrows, then my eyeshadow, and it has been such a time saver. Like, I don't know what I was doing before that. My girl. I've literally cut my routine in half. Like, it literally used to take me, like, 45 minutes to an hour to do my makeup. Now, it only takes me about 25, 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes to do my makeup now. All because I do my foundation first. Like, that is such a time saver. So, all the girls who've been doing their foundation first, you knew some. You knew some. And now, I'm glad I done caught on. I'm on the train, sir. I am on the train. But before we get into this video, let's get into these braids, honey. Let's get into my braider. So y'all remember when I had the knotless braids, the same girl did my stitch braids here. She is a beast. She is located in Birmingham, Alabama. Again, her name is Michelle's Touch on IG, and I'm going to leave it here. Michelle's Touch. Get in where you fit in if you can, because my girl be booked and busy, okay? But see me, y'all already know I'm going to get in whoever child want to get in. That's just me. <laughs> I'm kidding, but yes, please try to support my girl and book an appointment with her if you can because them hands is blessed, okay? And this is my first time ever having like some cornrows. I always thought my hair was a little too small to get like, for my hair to be like slip back and straight back like that, but it's actually really cute. So yeah, and I put some oil on it, so it's probably got some little white residue in it, but whatever, but. And I've had them for over a week now so they ain't as fresh as they were when she first did them but my girl did her thing okay and they real long too like we acting bad it's summertime when i look at my hair today i just think of mario it's giving braid my hair come on and braid my hair back in my hood feeling good <laughs> That's what it's giving. It's giving a Mario moment. That's what it's giving. Y'all see the product. Y'all see what it's giving. And I'm about to give y'all a step-by-step. -step, and I hope you enjoy. And I hope you stay all the way to the end. I'm not. I'm going to try not to speed up uh, the video as much. Because I want to give you like real time. So I can really explain what I'm doing. But yeah. I hope y'all enjoy. Get your pen and your notepad up. Because it's about to be a lesson. That you don't want to miss. Oh, and one thing that I did in the video. So, the lashes that I originally put on in the video, I just wasn't feeling them like that. So, I ended up changing them. Uh, but, yeah. Y'all will see all that in the video. So, if you're wondering why my lashes look a little different, it's because I took them off and I put another pair on. Because they just weren't doing it for me. But, yeah. And all the products that I use in this video will be listed and linked in the description box below. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, then just stay tuned. All right, guys. So first, I'm going to start with moisturizing my lips. Y'all just have to excuse how ashy I'm looking. So this is a freshly washed face. I haven't put any moisturizer or anything on yet. And I always start with my lips. So I put Aquaphor on them and I moisturize my face with the Blue uh, Ponds Moisturizer. Tell 
taking me a little break to get some water in. Remember to drink your water and mind your businesses. That's how your skin stay glowing, okay? And the water was actually really good. I don't know what I did different in there. But anyway, we're going to move on to our primer. So here lately, I've been using the e.l.f. Grip Primer. It is an amazing dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So if you ain't trying to spend that $35, $40, baby, go grab that e.l.f primer and it's gonna change your life it's literally like the same thing it's just in different tubes i promise you and it's not sticky it's just gonna give like that grippy feeling so whatever you put on top of that it's just gonna adhere to it and it's going to grip and it's going to stay put so yes ten dollars versus forty dollars go grab that so then I'm going to go into my foundation. So I am a diehard fan for the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I use the shade New Caledonia on my face. Well, for uh, most of my face, for a majority of my face. And I know when you put on foundation, it be looking a little crazy, a little wonky at first. But you got to trust the process. So as I go along... I'm going to end up putting another color. So this shade is New Caledonia. Then I go in with the color Nam Namibia. I want to say I'm pronouncing it right. And I put that on the perimeter of my face. And then I use my, uh, not elf. What brush is this? Real Techniques Insta Pop brush to blend everything in. Let me say this i love makeup so i like my makeup to be full coverage but you don't have to uh, go as heavy as me if you only want to put a few drops and blend that in that's cool too this foundation is full coverage but you don't have to go as heavy handed as me next i'm going to go in with my concealer so i love my tarte shape tape if you don't want to spend that kind of money you can always get the elf uh hydro uh camo concealers those are a great dupe and they're only like six dollars so i use two different shades for my concealers this first shade i'm putting on is deep and then i'm gonna go in with a lighter shade tan deep sand so as you can see i don't go all the way up with deep um on my under eye because i like for it to be a little bit brighter so that space that i left uh blank for now i'm gonna use tan deep sand for that space because it's going to give uh more brightness for me and so after I get all my concealer on, I wait about a minute or two before I start to blend it out. Okay, so I've waited about two minutes. Now I'm going to start blending that concealer out. So on my beauty blender, I take uh, my rose water and I spray it. You don't want to get it wet, but you definitely want it to be damp for this. So going back to my foundation, my foundation brush is not damp at all when I'm blending out my foundation. But I love for my beauty blender to be damp when I'm blending out the concealer. It just helps it to melt so much better and it just gives a more seamless blend to me. So I do this when I'm blending my concealer and I also spray it again on the other side when I put my setting powder on. So I don't like to use a dry beauty blender to uh, apply setting powder. Make it damp because that setting powder is going to melt right into that concealer. And y'all about to see what I mean in just a second. <laughs> You're done blending in that concealer go back in with your foundation brush and go over those highlighted areas just to make sure that everything is seamless and you can't tell where the concealer starts and stops and where the foundation starts and stops 
Now I'm going in with my setting powder. I love the Laura Mercier setting powder and I use the shade Translucent Honey. So as you can see, I'm spraying with that rose water the other side of this same beauty blender and I'm just going to press that powder in and it's just so seamless and so soft. I used to use like Sasha Buttercup, but once I discovered the Laura Mercier, it is so finely milled like it's so smooth so it just gives a flawless fla flawless can't even talk this why i don't do no uh voiceovers y'all but it gives a flawless finish every time because it's so fine love it it's definitely worth the money they're like 40 dollars uh per container but it is so worth the money it is so good great quality All right, now I'm going to go in with my Morphe 8D palette. So it's like a contour, a blush, and highlighter palette. And I'm just going to use those two middle shades. I mix them together. As y'all can see, I've been digging, okay? But I have about four of these on hand right now. I use them so much uh, for myself and for my clients. But I'm going to use those two middle shades to go ahead and contour or bronze my face, rather. Um, then I'm going to go in with one of the blushes in there that second with that darker blush in there i'm gonna use that as well so i had to push my little scarves back to uh kind of blend that out to make sure it don't look like a cast when i take them off <laughs> so yeah i'm going in with my uh foundation brush to go ahead and blend that out before i contour my forehead so yeah i'm gonna contour uh like my cheeks my forehead and i'm gonna snatch that nose up like michael jackson okay y'all gonna see it in just a minute but that nose is gonna be snatched okay right now it's giving texas bama but it's gonna give michael jackson in just a minute y'all just hang tight okay <laughs> So when it comes to contouring your nose, you want to start like at the end of your eyebrow and bring it down. So you want to kind of connect that to give the illusion that that is the natural uh, bone structure for your nose and your eyebrow. So you want to connect it from your brow bone uh, to your nose and you want to come down to the inner portion of your nostril on both sides i hope that makes sense so where your nostril is where it meets that uh, pointy part in the middle you want to kind of bring it down to there hopefully y'all can see it on my nose because i really don't know how to explain it but yeah bring it from your eyebrow down to the inner portion of your nostrils and i'm just kind of doing this reverse uh contouring type of thing so this also helps gives the give the illusion of a skinnier nose so after i contour i go in with that same setting powder and i kind of bring it up onto the sides of my nose to give it a skinnier look and I reverse contour under uh, my contour just to make it pop a little bit more.
going to go in with my morphe brow pencil in the shade chocolate mousse if you haven't noticed you can tell that i really really love morphe products they're affordable and they are great quality so i feel like you can never go wrong with morphe but i'm using this brow pencil in the shade chocolate mousse and i'm not going to speed this part up because i want you to see in real time how i feel in my brows so i start with the line on the bottom and then i do a line on the top and then i just fill in the sparse areas now what i stopped doing now i do conceal underneath the bottom but i don't conceal on top anymore because it's not a super necessary step for me anymore especially since i do my foundation first so yeah so i'm just very careful with the line that i draw on top just to make it neat still but i don't conceal on top only on the bottom and i'm going to use those same concealers that i used on my face i'm going to use them uh, to conceal underneath my brow so i'm still going to use tan deep sand in the higher point of my brow bone and i'm going to use deep in the front because it's a little bit darker When concealing your eyebrows, please make sure you have a flat brush. Do not try to use a fluffy brush, even if it's a flat brush and all the hairs aren't like tamed and sticking together. You don't want flyaways on your concealer brush. The brush, whatever brush you use to conceal your brows with, just make sure it is as flat as possible. So I feel like that's the only way to get your brow like super crisp. The work is really in the brush. So get you a good brush and you're good to go. Brows a dollar, knock them out, but then I throw them off the boat paddle. Go to Tia, one up, put the kilo on the saddle. Sack them, hit a lick and cop a pterodactyl. Pap them, chop a bite down like an apple. Match with the acres with the horses and the cattle. Travel like the narco, got dope like Pablo. Cut 
Cutthroat like Pablo Cutthroat Chat trees with the Draco Draco On and off got Diego Diego Say Ash de la Wego We'll be in rapping Kilo Snub nose with potato I'm gonna take a small a uh, little fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of blend out the edges you don't want to do too much because remember your foundation is already in place but you definitely still have to blend out that concealer so I'm gonna blend out the edges and make sure everything is smooth before I set it and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend a little bit more and I'm gonna blend those edges that's going down into my setting powder I'm gonna blend that out with the beauty blender and use whatever product is left of the setting powder on the beauty blender and kind of tap that in to set it then i'm going to use my sasha buttercup setting powder to set my whole lid before i start on my eyeshadow <laughs> all right now i'm gonna go into my holy grail my jacqueline hill palette y'all can tell it's been used because it's so dirty but i really only use like the same three or four colors out of them but whatever so i'm gonna use those two shades to go into my crease with and i'm just gonna keep going back and forth building it up until it's to my liking and then i'm going to go in with my p louise eyeshadow base in the shade 0 0.5 and then on top of that after i blend that out i'm gonna go into my signature drip palette 
uh, with that matte shade on my lids, that light tannish color. Then I'm going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette to deepen up my outer uh, V, my outer crease and yeah so when i do my little simple eyeshadow my soft glam is really only about three maybe four colors that i use so the crease colors that i mix together the uh the eyelid space color from the signature drip palette and then my outer v color but yeah and also when you're blending out it hasn't gotten to this part yet but when you're blending out that eyeshadow base it should literally look like eyeshadow. It should be blended to the gods, honey. This is it right here. And I'm about to show you how much you need to blend it out. You don't want it all chump chunky and lumpy. You want it to be blended, okay? Before you start packing on that eyeshadow. And when you're using matte shadows, try to use like... Um, I, I like to use like a fluffier brush. But just use whatever you have or whatever you like to use or whatever you're comfortable using but i like to use a big fluffy brush to pack on those matte colors
and we can ride the boogie Share that beat of love I wanna ride Okay, now that I've let the setting powder sit, I'm about to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And y'all can see that pan is scraped, okay? I'm like at the end. But I'm using the shade uh, Dark. And I like to use this to dust away um, the powders. Because you don't want to just dust it away with nothing. You want to get rid of that color with another color, if that makes sense. Because if you don't, it's going to give... It's going to give Ghost. It's going to give Casper. So we don't want that. So you definitely want to use a colored powder. It don't necessarily have to be MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish, but some kind of face powder to dust away the setting powder with. And we're going to blend it out some more. Just, you know, trust the process. Give me some time. But definitely use some kind of face powder to wipe away uh, that setting powder. Now I'm about to prep and put my lashes on. What I do now, I just put the glue directly to my lash line and then put the lash on. It's just so much easier that way simply because your natural body heat warms the glue so it's like tacky immediately. When I used to put it on the lashes, I would hate having to play the waiting game to see if it was uh, tacky enough to stick. But yeah, just put the glue directly on your lash and put that lash on and keep it pushing. We're trying to whip an anaconda. Jumping in the water, trying to sniff across the water glass. See, how is that? I got my big bag for Ronald. Out, bag it. Bag of money, know I gotta have it. Savage. Put up to the gym, I'm in the Cali. Atlantic. Nigga, turn them in about the cabbage. Uh, Kill his whole family, if you run up with the fish. I just put it back on the way to Bogota. Fact. Fuck his eyes out, and I'm telling what he saw. Fuck him. I don't watch y'all, I don't know if he'll talk. Watch y'all. Chain saw and I'ma saw our legs off. They know that we're a gang, but they said that we're a ring. Investigating, taking pictures of the whole thing. I'm a couple trying to do his thing. Trapping like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo, Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo, cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco, Draco. On and off, got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. Now I'm about to go in with my favorite brand once again. About to go in with the Morphe Continuous Mist uh, Setting Spray. I love this stuff. When you're buying this stuff, buy the black can. Do not buy the white can. I repeat, do not buy the white can. Okay, buy the black can. So after you spray, you want to take your foundation brush and kind of press that setting powder in because we want our face to stay on all day, all night, and maybe the next day. Okay? No, not really. But, I mean, hey, you, whatever floats your boat. But no, spray it, press it in, and then I like to go in with my highlighter. 
um, I'm using the Master Chrome by Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. Ever since I got my hands on this, I just been using it nonstop ever since. And it's a drugstore, so it's affordable. Um, I mean, you can still use, you know, the expensive stuff, but hey, this Maybelline Master Chrome ain't done me wrong yet, okay? And I know some people don't like highlighter much anymore. It depends on how I'm feeling. Some days I would just leave my face super matte and not highlight with the highlighter, but today I felt like doing so. And I just used the e.l.f. Uh, brow gel to make sure my brows are locked in and not moving. Now I'm using the L'Oreal uh, Telescopic um, Mascara in the shade Carbon Black. And I use this for my bottom lashes because the wand is really, really uh, little. So it's perfect for giving your bottom lashes that drama, that volume, okay? So now I'm prepping my lips. So I remember earlier I used the Aquaphor and I just been letting my lips meditate with... <coughs> I've been letting them meditate with that aquaphor now i'm going in with a morphe <laughs> lip pencil uh, once again morphe in the shade uh trendsetter so i'm gonna line my lips with trendsetter and then i'm gonna use a morphe liquid lipstick in the shade virgin i ended up going in with another shade from a, a black owned company that i've purchased from uh, her name is natasha sawyer on facebook she has a cosmetic line but the liquid lipstick that i added to my lips it doesn't have a name but it's like a peachy uh matte kind of color but the morphe liquid lipstick is in the shade version the morphe lip pencil is in the shade trendsetter and i just added a little bit of that other shade that i purchased from the black owned business all i have for this video be sure to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from me thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and as always i'll see you in the next one bye